In this quick tutorial, I'm going to show you how to use the Deplier package to summarize specific columns based on variables. It's pretty cool, very powerful, and very quick and succinct. So let's jump right to it. So we're going to start off with just using the um, MT cars set. But first, let's load our library, the Deplier library. And if you don't have the Deplier library, as always, packages, install, Deplier, and install. All right, so the library is loaded. I ran that, command enter. Now, I, I purposely made my console large so that we can see the outputs pretty easily. So let's just quickly do a, uh, a quick run of what MT Cars is. As you probably all know by now, it's got different features, miles per gallon cylinder, et cetera, et cetera, and all these different numbers. Now, let's do something with that. Let's summarize in certain ways. So the first one we'll do, uh, remember empty cars, and then remember the shortcut key, Command Shift M will give you the pipe operator, and the pipe operator works on deplier package, tidyverse, things like that. And so what we want to do is we want to group these by something. So group underscore by. What do we want to group these by? Let's group these by, for example, cylinder. So C Y L. And what do we want to do with that grouping? Well, we want to summarize. So summarize, and we want to summarize, basically, say we want the maximum horsepower. So we can do max and put in horsepower in there, hit Command Enter, and lo and behold, down below, we have, all right, so with a, for the four cylinder, the maximum horsepower is 113. For the six, the maximum HP is 175, et cetera, et cetera. But we don't have to stop there. We can do, uh, we can also do a mean in there. We can also do the uh, mean horsepower. Whatever we want to do, we can add it in here. We want to summarize by mean horsepower. So let's run that. So now we have the max and the mean. Maybe we want the min as well. Let's do the min. So min horsepower. It's that simple, folks. And what that's not a very aesthetically pleasing column name. So let's go ahead and name these. So instead of max, I'm gonna I'm gonna actually call it max horsepower equals right. And same thing with the mean. And I'm making these names up right now. So max uh, mean or mean horsepower equals and mean and min horsepower equals. So let's run that and make it a little bit more aesthetically pleasing. So now you see down at the bottom here, we have cylinders, we have the maximum horsepower, the average, and the minimum. Pretty cool, pretty powerful stuff right there, right? Simple as that. Okay, I cleared the output. Now let's do something a little bit more fancy here. We're going to use the MT cars again, except we'll pipe that into a group by, and we're going to group it by cylinder again. But this time we're going to do something slightly different. Instead of summarizing a particular feature like horsepower, we want to summarize all of the features with a certain function. So with that, we're going to use summarize. Instead of summarize, we're going to do summarize all. And what that means is, all the variables run this function against. So we want, say we want the mean of all the variables. I'm gonna go ahead and run that. So based on the cylinder, I have the average of all of these features below. Pretty powerful. We could do the max, I can change that to max. And we have the maximum of all the features below. Min, any type of function that is um, you know, relatively common, you can use that for. Pretty powerful, powerful stuff. Now let's go beyond that, let's get even crazier here, and let's do the same thing, except, all right, let's group it by, we'll, we'll do cylinder again, so group by cylinder, and, whoop, hitting the wrong buttons, my keyboard shortcuts, command shift M, <laughs> my keyboard's not a Mac keyboard, but I'm on a Mac, so it's, it gets confusing sometimes. <laughs> All right, so we want to group by cylinders just like we did before, and we did summarize all with max, but this time we want to do summarize all. And instead of max, we're going to add a few other functions in there. So we're going to say funds to give like a list of functions. We'll give it an, a list argument. The list is going to contain, we want min, max, and mean. Now let's run that. And we get an error. Empty car is not found. Empty car not found. Let's try the proper way. Empty cars, and as you can see here, um, it's got a lot of stuff in here that you can't even see. So let's pipe this right into a view instead. So we're going to add the pipe operator and capital V I E W, and we can go ahead and just 
run that into our viewer. And what you see here is you have cylinders. We grouped it by cylinder. Miles per gallon, minimum. Displacement minimum. Horsepower minimum. Drat minimum. Everything minimum. Then we have everything max. All after that. And then at the very end, we have the average. So just like that, that fast, you can get minimum, maximum, average of all of the features in your entire, your entire uh, data set, just like that. It's very, very, very powerful features. Okay, so that's another thing you've just learned, just like that. Now these, you're gonna have to practice because it's hard to memorize these the first couple times you do. In fact, I don't use it very often, so I have to look them up um, a lot of times. All right, I've cleared my screen again, and what we're gonna do is we're gonna add to what we already have here. So as you can tell, we started off with a simple group by. Group by cylinder, easy. Summarize, what do I wanna summarize? I wanna summarize these types of things for all the variables. I want max horsepower, oh, for, for the horsepower variable. Uh, then we decided we want more than one variable, I want all the variables, but I wanna get the maximum of all the variables. Okay, cool. But now we decided, all right, I want all the variables, but I also want multiple functions to, to be applied to all the variables. So that's min, max, and mean. We want it to be applied to all of the variables. So now let's do summarize at. So it's very simple. Empty cars, same thing. Uh, group by, we want to group by, let's do cylinder again as the example. And we want to, instead of summarize all though, this time we're going to do summarize at. So it's just like summarize all, except this time we're specifying which variables do we re really want to summarize at. So there's, and then you want to do, let's say we want to summarize the weight and the drat only. Now we can apply functions to those two only. Let's do min and max. And let's, let's just pipe that right into the view so we can see it better. Well, actually, I guess that's pretty short. So we have the, um, the minimum, the maximum, and the, uh, the minimum drat, the weight max, the minimum, Anyways, we have exactly what I just described in just that short period of time. So let's, let's do this one more time without the view, put it on our viewer. And that's how simple it is. So I, if you want to find any type of grouping with some sort of function applied to it, and eventually you can apply your own functions. You don't need to use min, max. You can create your own functions and apply those. It's very simple.